Hey, hey, hey. How to sneeze. How's everybody doing? Huge storm just moved right through here. The wind, I was sitting outside. The wind, the thunder, the rain. It is coming down. A summer day. Summer has caught up in the south. How are you doing tonight? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're here. A lot going on. A lot actually kind of settling down. We've had some intense weeks in June with all those eclipses. Things are starting to settle down. Come on in and join me. Let me know you're here. Let's talk about what's going on. Let's look at our energy and let's focus in for the week and pull some cards. So come on in and join me. I'm going to come over here to Instagram as well. Go live. All right, I am live now. Hello, hello, hello. Take a moment. Pull your energy in. It's Sunday night. Maybe it's Monday morning in Australia. I know some of you tune in from Australia. Just take a moment. Pull your energy in. Connect. Notice what you notice. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale welcome everyone terry and hyman here this is the empowered spirit show my energy focus for the week which i come in live we talk about what's going on we align our energy and we prepare for the week ahead so welcome 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 hey guys welcome 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 huge storm huge storm just came in moved through the wind the thunder the rain pouring down cooling off though very hot and humid today in the south that's where we are Kat, how is it for you in Australia? The opposite, I would imagine. So welcome, everyone. We have a lot going on in the cosmos, or we had a lot going on in June, and now that is starting to kind of calm down just a little. Perhaps calm down a little bit as we move into summer. Let things straighten out, right? We had all those eclipses. We had the retrogrades. And now really is a time, we still have other outer planet retrogrades, but now is a time to start to let things settle, to start to really kind of understand like, where am I? Where is my center? What shifts do I need to make? Maybe you've made them. How do I ground in these shifts? How do I look for this energy as we move forward and deeper and deeper into summer? We have moved into summer officially. We really have. So this week on the podcast, I talked to Vicki Zvainer, 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 that's how you say Vicki Zvainer. She wrote a book, Authenticity, A Reawakening, and it's all about showing up as who you are, being authentic in your workplace. We did talk a lot about corporate America, working in the workplace there, but showing up fully who you are, and also, too, really about looking out for others around you. Like really being aware, we know about diversity, we talk about it, but really walking that talk and really being aware of the person next to you sitting in a meeting, all of that kind of energy. And what brings it forward too is if you aren't feeling supported, if you aren't feeling that this company represents who you are, maybe now is that time to think about something else. We talked about it. Should I stay or should I go? Great question. Many are asking that right now. Many are looking at new ways to come back into the market, right, into the job market. And this is the opportunity right now to really kind of go deep. That energy of cancer came in with the sun sign switch and into summer. Go deep. Be intuitive. Ask yourself, what do I need to do? What do I need to shift? And the things about shift, I talk about this a lot because of the medicine wheel, right? The course correct. Move a rock. Clean it up. Realign it. It shifts energy, and this is what we want to do. We don't want to make, like, huge changes. You can, and maybe it's your time to do that. But for most of us, it's like, okay, let's still get the feet down. Let's find the balance in where we are. We just transitioned into a new season. Summer is one of my favorite. Of course, I'm kind of born in the summer, so I think we all kind of favor that season. But summer is about the energy of slowing down, pausing getting outside, enjoying the elements. We bring in that element of water, all right? Not only in like the emotional energy that's coming in, but also to like the splashing around. Now, Kat, in honor of you guys in Australia, you're in the opposite. So you've moved into more of the winter. So you try to honor that too by pulling your energy in. So we have this energy going on. It's a great time to like let things grow, all right? Let things open up. And the medicine wheel for summer, we find in the direction 
of the south. All right, we know the south is hot, right? But it is the fire element. And this is where we do, we pause, we honor Mother Earth, we honor that divine feminine. I love to talk about it, the wild woman energy. We do, we get back, we're actually listening to Amanda Paul Wash on the Astrology Hub today, and she was talking about, actually she was talking to Ann Ortley, she was talking about it being the summer of sex, she was, she said like everybody's missed it, it's time to get out there, right, like we've missed it, she's like, what do you mean, oh, now I get it, like we haven't been commingling with anybody, so it is going to be a vibrant summer, what can you do to open up that energy for you, it's time to shed that layer, right, we really do want to open up, get out, this is the fullest season for being out there. And you could do that with your spirit in terms of like being friendly and opening up. While at the same time, honoring the energy of like cancer the crab, right? We talk about this like that shell. I also was reading too, I think it was in Spirit Daughter, about, about this is a season where if you think about a crab without its shell, all right, we want to shed that layer. And it is a little raw underneath at first until the layer grows, right? That's what change is all about. Now, we know this from like when we're younger too, with summer, we grow a lot. Our hair grows, our nails grow, our, we grow in inches, especially as kids, because we are out there. So it's also a good time to take care of yourself. It's a good time to do some of that self-care for you, that routine that can really help you rest and renew and, you know, rejuvenate and refresh. All of that energy is what we work with in the summer. You know, we have to have patience. Our gardens have to grow. We can't force it. So that's where we kind of look at that energy as well to allow the the growth to come forward and that's what we're going to see in this this season that's coming up so as we start this week we do start with some pisces energy the moon in pisces all right we just finished with that big old full moon not just finished it's still just now starting on the release all right so when we have the full moon we're at the highest right highest expression of light highest intentions and then it starts to wane, lessening in the light. And that's when we start to do all that releasing. So this is the opportunity to shed some of that excess energy from spring. All right, clean up the diet, eat more fresh. All of that excess energy, let it go. All of the old energy you've been carrying around, maybe it is old work related. Let it go. We start to release that out. And that can help us to move into the season with more excitement. It's definitely what we have going forward right now. So think about it for yourself. Like, how does being authentic right now mean for you to show up, right? Are you one that, like, shares everything? Are there parts that you only show up with? Which I think is fine. And what we talk about is knowing yourself. <laughs> knowing yourself to show up. And I know for many of you, have heard me talk about it this last month with the tarot cards. Totally forgot to mention. We got, first of all, thank you, everybody. We made our first goal. We will be going into production we also got the first prototypes, the actual decks. I've been using a, a one I made. But what we want to see about that is that, what I was saying about that is that I've been talking about how I show up, right? How when I first moved back to Birmingham, I kind of withdrew some of the information. I kind of hid some of the information about being a tarot reader. Like I didn't want to really kind of like lead with that. But yet what it did do for me is that it kind of suppressed a lot more of my talents and who I was because I was always trying to hold it down. And so as I began to recognize, like, I need to show up a little bit fuller in who I am, a little bit more authentic. I think I shared on the emails this week that went out with the podcast about, like, I actually got hit finally, hit with a car, and it's like, wake up, who are you, you have more work to do, show up fully. And it's like these kind of things that can really help us to open up and be who we are, and then so much more can open up as well. And I know sometimes it's hard. It was hard for me to admit that I was a tarot reader, working with crystals, working with stones, working with light. It's like all these things I was doing. Yet now, had I never talked about it, the education wouldn't be out there. I mean, that's probably why I started the Empowered Spirit Show, I'll be honest. And so that's why we want to show up. And I'm not saying you have to, like, you know, blob all your stuff out at work or anything, but be true to who you are. Be true to who you are. It's okay to talk spirituality. All right, let's say you'll whisper that to me or they hide their crystals in a desk or something or their tarot cards. You don't have to do that. You can be more open about who you are because you know who you are. And that's part of what we talked about on the podcast too. Great book, great timely subject really is. Check it out on the Empowered Spirit Show. All right, so a few other things to talk about before we jump into the meditation is some of the crystals that you'll hear me talking about all summer. All right, Rose Quartz is one of them because... 
feels so good, so cool. But it's also the stone of like beauty. And as we move through the summer, you want to remind yourself of that self-care and self-love and the beauty, beautiful habits. It's soft and it's loving. So it's a great time to work with that. I also love the stone, something for the heart. Now, sometimes you hear people say like, you know, rose quartz for the heart, which is great, or rhodonite or something for the heart because of the lessons that we learned. I love the Magano calcite. It has this white, pink creaminess, and it has bands of energy, which just kind of make me feel like lessons of the heart, things that we learn, and it just like is a softness that overcomes us when we use it. So that's one of the ones that I love is the Mangano calcite. It's just a beautiful stone. And then one of the other stones that I like, because this kind of helps to work with the third eye a little differently, but it's sodalite, because we're talking authentic right now, and sodalite can help you to be really true in your word and knowing who you are. So it's a good stone to help you know that energy of who you are. So those are a couple of stones that you can bring into as we move into the summer and move into this next month. Can you believe July is coming up this week? All right, so lots to think about, lots of ways you can shift your energy. So let's take a moment and just work a little bit on feeling that shift of energy and grounding into the feet with Mother Earth. So wherever you are, if you can, take a moment with me. And just exhale out from the weekend, let it go. And then take another deep inhale. And just bring the breath all the way up through the body. As you inhale, the breath goes up and expands. And as you exhale, pull the navel center in and let the breath go all the way down, deep into the earth. Inhaling and exhaling. As we go to start this spirit to spirit, just sending some energy out to those I've known, to people whose relatives are down in the Miami buildings. Just sending some energy out that way to anybody else who's suffering right now. You know, my dear sister lost her puppy, her dog. So anybody at all that's suffering right now, just sending these blessings out to you. Inhaling, calling in your spirit, just feeling that energy in your heart. Connecting with the greater spirit, source, creator, just feeling that to open the heart, going really deep into that place within you. Calling in all the spiritual teachers, the Reiki masters, the archangels, the crystal beings, calling in your own spirit guides. We ask that they work with you and through you to surround us all and protect us as we move through these times of change, moving through this week. Take another deep inhale and exhale as we welcome in this new season, calling in the directions for guidance and protection to the south, the west, the north, and the east, above us, Father Sky, below us, Mother Earth, right into the very center, into your spirit. And just setting an intention for you as you move into summer for this week and see it right through that third eye center and just allow it to open up. See all that you need as this comes in for you. Hear it, feel it, know it. And allow the elevated emotions of how you want to feel more joy, more freedom, more peace, more wild woman as summer opens up. And just allow those energies to emanate, radiate out from your heart, all through your auric field. And as you really radiate that, feel your feet on the earth so you can ground with this energy. Feel your feet on the earth. Maybe it's on the carpet, maybe it's on the floor, maybe you're sitting outside the beach, who knows, but feel it on the earth. And just breathe a little energy into that. And then exhale up from the earth through the feet, through the body, radiating this energy out. And then exhale, pull it all the way back down to the feet, grounding, pulling the body in. And just releasing any excess energy, cutting the energy, whoever it is you're holding on to, send it away. Commanding energy, just send it away. Be grounded in your own field of energy as you go to start this week. And just radiate those elevated emotions for the joy, the peace, the abundance. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Sending this energy out, surrounding you in light. And then feel the feet again. 
and just bring the awareness back, coming back, grounding that energy for you, coming back, making the eyes open, right, here we are, Ernest Yo, you joined us, thank you, all right, so beautiful cards, I'm so excited, they feel great, they hold in your hand really good, We've raised some funds, we've offered the perks, and now let's just get them out there. All right, so the first card, which is our focus for the week, is the Four of Earth, which is always an interesting card, and I think it's kind of important right now, especially as we're moving through shifts. So the Four of Earth is all about not tying yourself up, like not holding on too tight. Like sometimes you think, okay, everything's okay. Don't change anything, don't move anything, don't spend anything. And this what it really does is it ties you up, as you'll see in the card, in your own energy instead of letting things flow. Keep things flowing. So as you go to make shifts and all, it makes it harder because you're so tied up in how things work. Everything is changing. So allow the energy to not be so tight. Go with the flow. I love to think about the idea of the element of water. All right, we're in water right now. And when you bring in the element of water, you can imagine it spiritually, energetically moving through you. Beautiful element to work with that can help you unstick, especially on that earth energy. All right? That's what we want to do. Sometimes you'll see this because earth is our money. Earth is our pentacles. You'll see that maybe you're being stuck in that area or maybe you're being in the scarcity mindset a little bit. All right? Now, how do we work through this and how can this help you open up to that infinite potential that is ahead of all of us as we make shifts and changes out in the world. All right, you may not like this. The card that came up is the tower, but this is reversed. Then she do a beautiful job illustrating this? You see the whirlwind. You see the lightning. You see the crown. Crown is about losing control. So when it's reversed, it's not as intense. It's meaning like it's under the surface. So this is kind of like a, I almost want to say like a wake-up call. Like what is it that you're feeling? Lots of times like you know some things are coming I don't know what I need to do, and so you tend to ignore it. <laughs> I've been there, I know. We don't want to ignore this, and sometimes it can be even a spiritual upheaval, that maybe now you're recognizing things about your own self and your own truth, and it's making some spiritual changes about you. So there are things that are coming up to shift. But on the other hand, we got two nines, which nines are always about like there's more energy coming. All right, so the first is the nine of earth, which kind of goes with that four of earth. As you let go of like holding on too tight and start to allow the energy to flow, this card is about continuing to build. All right, continuing to build in the earth energy. Things are going okay, but this is about like, like perseverance, like keep going, don't give up, keep doing it step by step by step. Look how the roses are lining up. Look how the sun's coming in. Look at the colors. How beautiful, right? And then the next card is the nine of fire. So this is all that persistence, that that uh, perseverance, right? We don't want to give up. Now, this card also comes in to remind you that, like, maybe there's even something that needs a little bit more attention. The one crystal she's holding on to. Maybe there's something that needs a little bit more focus so that it can continue to grow, so that it can help you unstick. And sometimes it's like, look beneath the surface, like really go in there deep. There is some change coming for you. All right, so we do know we're all in changing times. We do know this. We're trying to get back out in the world. We're wondering how to do that. So allow this to guide you as you move through your week. Allow it to be able to help you, like, let go a little bit. Don't hold on too tight. Look for the things that have those lessons underneath the surface. And know that more is coming in. So having that persistence, that perseverance to keep going, even when it's like, I'm done, I'm done, all right? And sometimes as the planets all start to move around and go back direct, that Mercury direct, we've got some Saturn, some Pluto, we've got all that energy going on. It can feel a little bit intense, a little push, pull, push, pull, stop, go, stop, go. So allow it to flow for you. All right, let me know how that resonates with you. If you'd like a card, I would love to draw one of these beautiful cards for you as well. Let me know. I do have some fun things coming up, all right, in July. Actually, next week we are headed out to the Arkansas Crystal Mines. We are so excited. Actually, we we're supposed to go to Canada, see my daughter, go up to Vancouver, and do some hiking up there. So that is a big disappointment. We, the borders are just not open yet. So we postponed that. We will get our trip to Canada. But instead, Paul and I are going out to Arkansas Mines. We're super excited. 
I do have a Reiki self-care retreat. If you're in the local area, self-care, come let us take care of you, practice your Reiki, get some meditation time. July 16th and 17th, Friday night, a couple hours, and we meet again Saturday. Check it out. It's on my website, terryannhyman.com. I also have an August Reiki class if you're local. It's going to be a nice, great time to learn Reiki. My monthly energy circle is Tuesday night of this week. You can sign up on my website now. That's all been changed around. So definitely check it out. And again, a big thank you to everybody who helped in the Indiegogo campaign for the Empowered Spirit Cards. All right, let's see. Ernest Joe, Kat, you both would like cards. Here we go. All right, so Ernest, we got the Son of Earth. So, and it was upside down. So the Son of Earth, the essence of this card is like an influence of energy that helps you to be loyal, to do your work, even like that to-do list, some of that Saturn energy, right? It's like, it's a very loyal person. You say you're going to show up, show up. So where does that come in for you right now? Where can that help you guide your work this week? All right, dogs, I love it. Dogs are always our loyal companion. And this also has an energy like, if you need some persuasion of people to do what you want them to do, this is a great card for that, all right? It has that grounding energy. You know people like, this is like a trustworthy card. So let me know how that resonates for you, all right? All right, Kat, we got the Justice card. So this is a card that's kind of about karma, all right? He sits between those gates there, the 11s, the scales. So, like, what needs to be balanced out a little bit for you? Are you looking at one side more than the other? That's kind of the question I would ask him. Where can you find that balance for scales for you right now in your life? 11 is also like a master number. So look for signs around you to help you with this. Look for the 1111. See if they come up for you this week. Check in with your karma. We always talk about karma. And I don't know if you have some legal things coming up. This would be a time that the universe is supporting you for that as well. All right, who else? I'm not seeing the, uh, hey, Lanier is just thinking about you, woman. How are you? I saw your beautiful children in your postings. Lanier, the six of water. This is a beautiful card. Look at these. These are Lori Hanna's designs. Look how beautiful. So the six of water has a beautiful innocence to it. It really does. It's like happiness. It's like love. It's like things are flowing. And it's a real beautiful way of appreciating it's really like kind of, you see this card, it's like as above, so below. Like it has the earth energy below and the sky energy up there. And it's a beautiful balancing of energy that can really just remind you of the gratitude for all the love going on, that things are good, the sun is shining. It also is a little bit of community. So the, the sixes are about like a little bit of coming out a little bit with all of that. So spread the love. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, Ernest Yo says, yay, thank you. All right. If I've missed you, let me know. Hey, Magic City, how are you guys? All right, anybody else? Let me know if you'd like a card. Okay, here's another one over here. All right, Cam, this is for you. The Emperor. All right, so the end, it was reversed. So the Emperor is all about, like, it's it's like the father of tarot, they say. But it's also like the, the one that has done the work. All right, a one that has done the work, earned his right to be there. But when it's reversed, it's like, okay, you don't have to push so hard to prove yourself. Relax, all right? Be who you are. You are good enough. I love that. Kat says, wow, I'm seeing a lot of 11-11 right now, and I haven't taken a moment to ask why. We'll have a good think about this in balance. Excellent. Yes, that's what we want to do. Think about it. Let the cards guide you. Let the cards take you in, into your spirit, as you can open up for that. All right, so yes, I love the cards. They will now be out in August. Eventually, you'll be able to get them on the website, but thank you again to all those that contributed to the perks. You will be getting contacted about it very shortly. They're beautiful, they're fun, and it is a beautiful way to sit with your spirit. Right now, more than ever, more than ever, I've seen so much in my practice, the sadness, the loneliness, the mental health. Now, more than ever, Working with your energy fields, clearing out the old energy, really allowing yourself to open up to a different part of your own energetic being is so needed right now. Reach out for a session. I do virtual and in person. Take care of your energy. Be a master to it. All right. Check out the podcast. Thanks so much for joining me. To your spirit. Namaste.